Hello and welcome back to our KSP career and today we will be building the launcher for the relays that you have seen me launch in the previous episode but first we will be unlocking some heavy rocketry including the mighty Gojira from the Tundra Industries yes it's time to start doing belly flops also in our KSC now given that the starship the real one has been a little bit also delayed I mean in terms of FAA until the last of April However, everything is progressing at Boca Chica and I'm closely monitoring, but I really wanted to start doing some Starship development, some of my own. However, that will be coming in the future episodes. In this episode, we are building the crop that you have seen me launch in the previous one. So, uh, that is the launcher for the two Rayleigh satellites. And uh, the weakness that I have identified while launching things to EVE was when I was doing the atmospheric re-entry I didn't have a good connectivity and why because I only had one relay satellite because I assumed since all of the previous satellites that, have, that I've sent were also will be dubbing as relays which is wrong because all of them have direct antennas none of them had relay antennas on them so to correct my mistake for the Duna mission I'm actually sending out two a pair of these relay satellites to do now hopefully together with the main one that I will be that's already en route they will be providing a lot more so this is a tiny relay and the purpose the only purpose of this satellite is to relay information from the surface of Duna to the main relay that will be then shooting it all the way back to the KSC so there we go and also to have high bandwidth which is why I jam-packed it with a lot of lot of small antennas hopefully the signal will stack after all I'm hoping that this is Wi-Fi what you know AX standard or whatever so ideal for short-range bodies with high bandwidth yeah there we go save and continue so we will be building now the launcher vehicle and the launcher I don't want it too complex because I want it to be built within 15 days how much we have to actually get to Duna so launcher vehicle yeah simple good let's construct it and make sure that we are well you know prepared for doing that so there we go launcher we jam-packed one on top of it and then we will be putting the fairing with the truss structure oh this one will be sticking out it's not pretty at all so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting the interstage nodes yes bigger fairing uh, attach it there we go an additional satellite please there we go and there are no more so I can just cram two all right auto strut everything to the heaviest part and then let's be constructing the fairing and the vehicle there we go I want to, we just want to correct my staging to make sure that I don't fuss up on the staging because that would be just hilarious. So, there we go. Perfect. Alright, so small relay deployer mark 1. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, there are some, you know, power thingies, batteries, an additional signal thingy. There we go, antenna, because I need the direct antenna to be able to communicate back to Kerbin while I'm transitioning all the way. So I'm just gonna, f you know, stick it in so it doesn't, you know, collide with the fairing once it will be decoupling. There we go, uh, then I need a reaction wheel, hold on, there we go, where we, reaction wheel, no, not that one, that one, yes, good. And then we need all the things that we know and love, you know, the tank, the rocket everything so <clears throat> now let's find the oh obviously we need the Kerbal engineer because that one is super important guys beautiful there we go do we have anything more I I'm just trying to find an ideal engine for this bugger because it's really really hard to understand where it could be so let's place that one Nope, that one. No, no. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Bobcat. I just don't like the looks of it. But okay, so yeah, let's put Trust Mount. Yes, I like it. Now it looks more like an upper stage engine. Alright, so. Place. No. I'm just trying to find a good enough tank, and I just wanted to get away from the same old, same old, but apparently. 
it won't let me, so good enough, there we go. Oh, I've put now the cheetah, oh, I could be putting, that's a, an upper stage engine, so if I put like this variant, oh no, okay, thrust plate, come on, there we go, is it any better? Oh, uh, I'm actually gonna put a shorter, medium long, now they're the same, overlapping, oh, I don't like that, yeah, hold on. I'm gonna put it shorter, well then it's colliding. Okay, I'm gonna stick the engine in, and now, there we go, problem solved. Okay, now you can have your regular body, and then we will be placing everything here, and all in all, I think it will look wonderful. All right, there we go, looks dope. All right. So, <clears throat> now we need two side boosters, and it, I mean, the ship is quite simple in, in essence, really. I want to be placing bigger antennas, there we go. There we go. Okie doke, now this guy's... Shall I be placing it like that? Or actually, if I'm tilting it to the sideways, might be more prudent that I reverse those so I actually hold on yeah that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna place the two of you like this and the two of you like this good see much more natural yes that's the word I was looking for so let's put in some fins center of lift center of mass actually yeah I want them kind of to be I know it applies mostly to planes but I still want it to be stable you know aerodynamically stable when it's ascending it's kind of a big deal for me. So, yeah, two, there we go. Yeah, I think that looks good enough. So now let's, let's just quickly check our staging and then I think that will be done with the build. So, okay, photovoltaic panels, that's one, this is two, and then, well, no, that's it. All right, guys, you know what to do. Boop the like button if you have liked and appreciate the content and of course, I will be just... Oh, I forgot the solar panels almost. Whew. Yeah, so I'm going to be adding the solar panels. There we go, adding them to the same group. And now we will be wrapping up the episode. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Like if you like the episode. And I will be seeing you in the next one. Groundforks out.